Have you seen Ben TK or J.R. Ali do this transition? Today I'm going to show you, how to make the door opening transition, inside the Premiere Pro. So here I'm using this door footage, if you want to try it, you can download this footage, under the description link. First I have to find the frame, where I want to make the transition. Now click on this little camera icon, but if you don't see this icon here. Then click on this plus icon, drag and drop this camera icon here. And click on OK. Now click here. Select the format option to PNG, and enable import into project. Then click OK. So it will take a snapshot of the project panel. Now drag and drop it to the current time indicator position. So you can see the video is frozen here. Now select the snapshot layer. Go to the effect controls tab. Under the opacity, select the pen tool. And draw a mask around the door. Now set the mask feather around 2 or 3. Then duplicate this snapshot layer twice. Select the top layer, and inverted the mask. So now we have separated the door from this layer. For the bottom two layers, I'll separate the door into two parts. So we don't need to make the mask again. Just select the mask, and adjust the mask path for left door. For the middle layer, again select the mask, and adjust it for the right part. Now you can see the top layer is without the door. Middle layer is the right part of the door. And the bottom layer is the left part of the door. Now we have to nest the door layers. Then go to the effects tab, and search for transform effect. Apply this effect to both nested clips. Now go to the Effect Controls tab, and move the time indicator to the first frame. Then under the Transform effect, make a keyframe on the position. Now move 20 frames forward, and move the right door to the right side. Now make the keyframes ease in and ease out. To add the motion blur, disable Use Composition's shutter, and set the shutter angle 180 degrees. So the right door sliding is done, now again do the same thing for the left side. So now the door sliding animation is done. Again move to the effects tab, and search for basic 3D. Apply this effect to both nested clips. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. And move the Transform effect, under the Basic 3D. Now turn off the Transform effect, by clicking this little FX icon. Under the Basic 3D, we are going to use Swivel to flipping the door. So move the Time Indicator to the first frame. And make keyframes on the Swivel and Distance to Image. Now move 20 frames forward. For the left door, use the swivel value minus 75 degrees. And distance to image value is around 8 to 10. Now as we can see the left door is flipping. To make it more smooth, make these keyframes ease in and ease out. Now enable the transform effect. So the left door animation is done. Again do the same thing for the right door. So now the door sliding and flipping animation is done. For the next step, we are going to nest these three snapshot layers. Then move to the effects tab, and search for transform effect. Apply this effect on the nested clip. 
Now go to the Effect Controls tab. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Then under the Transform effect, make keyframes on the position and scale. Now move the time indicator 1 or 2 seconds forward. And increase the scale value. Then adjust the position, to keep the door frame middle of the sequence. Increase the scale again, until it completely disappears from the frame. Then make keyframes ease in and ease out. Now turn off the Use Compositions shutter. And set the shutter angle 180 degrees. And this is our final animation. To see the better preview we have to render it. Now move the nested sequence to the top track. Then add another clip to the bottom of the nested sequence. Now let's render it to see the final preview. Now add a nice door opening sound effect. I'll add the sound effect under the description. So that's it for the door opening transition. Now if you want to reverse the clip, cut the unwanted part from the sequence. And delete them. Now mark all the clips, and nested them together. Again right click on it. Select speed and duration. And enable reverse speed. And that's it. So if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll try to reply all the dedicated questions. See you in the next one, have a nice day.